What's up everybody and today we're going to be looking at a bit more news about the whole Yemen situation and the Houthi rebels. Um, this is a video we're going to be checking out by Hindustan Times, which is a legitimate um, news source from, um, I'm guessing considering it's called Hindustan, I'm guessing it's from India. Um, with that being said, I'm probably going to get a copyright claim for this for playing this. So don't forget to like this video and subscribe and comment down below just to help with the algorithm for my other videos. And uh, we'll get a little bit of news on this and we'll try and figure out what's going on. The, the title of this one really stuck out to me. It came out, um, what, five days ago. And the title is Punish America. Thousands seek revenge by Houthis in Yemen after US strike. So we're going to watch this. We're going to talk over it. We're going to get a bit of news about what's going on. Uh, we did hear that there was um, two Navy SEALs that died. Uh, during a raid apparently one fell off the boats which as a royal marines i can tell you as a royal marine i can tell you that with the specialization of of, of um maritime security and stuff um getting on and off them boats onto the ship is the deadliest part or one of the deadliest parts and doing it at night doing it in rough waters the whole situation is just is is very very difficult and the rumor is, and this is just a rumor, so don't quote me, is one of the seals fell off and the other one jumped to try and get him and both of them fell and ended up being lost in the ocean, which um, is absolutely tragic. It's absolutely devastating, especially considering um, who they are and what they're capable of. It just shows how difficult them situations are. So let's watch this video. Let's get some news of what's going on. Um, I don't know whether this will be in English, but I'm going to put subbies on. Um, and the subbies should be, uh, let's have a look. Oh, they're also generated in Arabic. So actually, we're not going to get it in English. But let's just see what happens. Let's see what happens. Let's pull this up and let's have a cheeky peek. Wow. Thousands hit the streets of Yemen for anti-US march. Yemen's big appeal as Houthis plan mega revenge retaliation. Yemen is erupting anger after US fired 100 bombs and missiles on several cities. They've got no sympathy. They started blowing up ships first. Out of nowhere. What do they expect? We're just going to be like, oh, okay, yeah, we'll just take that on the chin. No, of course. Of course America's going to retaliate. They'd be stupid to think they wouldn't. It's ridiculous. I get that they, 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 they use it. This is what I think, right? No one likes the situation in Israel and Palestine. Nobody likes that situation at all, right? I just feel like these guys are using that as an excuse to do what they're doing. I really do. It's not going to solve any problems. It's not going to solve any problems. And this is what happens. They start blowing up ships and they don't expect some sort of retaliation. Come on. Thousands of people took to the streets of Yemeni's, Yemen's capital, Sana'a, in protest. Protesters raised death to America chants calling for action against US forces. Wow. Many were seen holding huge Palestine and Yemen flags during the march. It's getting rough, guys. Punish America, pushed by Yemeni. Yemenis come as youth is planned for mega revenge. Christ, mate. The American and British enemy... Uh, bears full responsibility for this criminal aggression against our Yemen people. This guy says. And it will not go unanswered and unpunished. Good luck, mate. You're going to get your ass handed to you. What's the point? What's the point? They think they can go up against America. The UK is one thing, right? They wouldn't even survive against the UK. But going up against the UK and America? Come on. What do you think they're trying to do here? They'd want to just take the moral high ground by saying this is because they want to support Palestine? No, it's not. They're getting funded by Iran. 
who is getting funded by Russia and China, sitting back and laughing at this, watching other people dig and start little fly fires with America and the UK unnecessarily just to whittle down the military, which is not even going to do that. You think you can put a dent into the US's military? Come on. War only makes it bigger. <laughs> we know that. Not you go. Pledge to act against US and UK comes amid fresh strikes on Israel ship, Israeli ship's threat. Oh my god, how many mics has he got? Christ. The Yemeni armed forces will not hesitate to target sources of threat. And all hostile targets on land and sea in defense of Yemen its sovereignty and its independence. The only thing that sucks as well is Egypt's really suffering from this. Egypt is not a fan of this at all. Seeing how many people are not going through the Suez Canal and therefore taking billions of dollars from Egypt, which is already a struggling economy. They're not going to have many friends here. I'm telling you that right now. All right, chill, mate. This bru brutal aggression, you hypocritical little turd. Come on! Brutal aggression! Who's the aggressor here? It's so hypocritical. It's laughable. Will you deter Yemen from its position of supporting and standing with the opposition of the Palestine people? Look, nobody likes this situation. In I mean, obviously, the American government and the Western governments are supporting Israel right now. And the whole situation is an absolute shit show. No one wants this, what's going on right now. No one wants this. The, the Palestinian civilians are getting absolutely demolished unnecessarily, and it sucks, right? Israel is absolutely slaughtering civilians. And the whole situation is complex because there's, there's, there's hostages that are not getting released. There's tensions that have been rising through the fact that Gaza has had this open air prison for a long time. The 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 Palestinian um rage what's it called? The the the, the 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 Hamas is not helping the situation at all. They're they're the ones that are stoking the fire and giving Israel this excuse to do that. The whole situation's shit. And I, I'm not an expert on it. I'm someone from the UK who's both a UK and a US citizen. I'm not an expert on this stuff. I don't know the intricacies. Don't quote me on it. I'm not taking sides on this shit, right? But what I'm saying is you can't be using this stuff as an excuse to cause havoc and then say when, when, when retaliation happens to them, be like, oh, look, they're retaliating. It's, the, it's, their, it's them that's doing it. Come on. It's like the typical frigging bully situation where they punch and punch and punch and then they get, finally get punched back. And they're like, oh my god, we're the, we're the innocent ones here. We're the victims. It's ridiculous. Come on. The Yemen armed forces confirm their continued prevention of Israeli ships. Or those heading to the ports of the occupied Palestine from navigation in the Arabian and Red Seas. US and UK carried out strikes in Yemen cities under Houthi control, killing five. The strikes followed Houthi's biggest attack on merchant vessels in the Red Sea. On January 9th, 50 ships in the area of attack when Houthis launched dozens of missiles. That's ridiculous. The US and UK forces claim to have shot down 18 drones and three missiles fired by Houthis. Three missiles. The incident led to a major escalation in tensions between the US and Yemeni group. It's a joke, innit? Any more text before the end of this video? Good video here by uh, Hindustan Times. I've never really heard of them. They're obviously very popular. I'll leave a link down below to the original video. Good bit of news there. Giving us a bit of an update of what's going on over there with the Houthi rebels in the Red Sea. Um, the things that uh, rise in tensions right now are everywhere. Russia, Ukraine, Israel, Palestine, Houthi rebels demanding ceasefires and blowing up stuff and then getting them pretending to be the um, oppressed people when they get attacked back. 
You've got Egypt that's suffering through its economy. You've got China and Russia funding this through Iran, sitting back, kind of probably laughing at this whole situation, knowing that it's thinning out people. You've got tensions within the West of people wanting ceasefires in, in uh, Palestine and Gaza. Uh, the whole situation's a shit show, and this year's not going to help with the amount of elections around the world we've got. And the whole situation with Taiwan and, and, and China, the, the, the whole thing is just um, a struggle. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below. We're going to be talking about these updates and we're going to go from there. Check out my description for Dreadnought Media with a new project with me and my brother. If you want something a bit more lighthearted and not doomsday, me and my brother are tasting mead and we're making mead and we're going to be ma oh, potentially selling our own mead one day. So please go and check out Dreadnought Media in the description. Other than that, like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day. Goodbye.